TikTok made me corrupt my FNAF plushies. I have a whole collection of very cute, very cuddly Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. Kill me. The problem with them is that they're almost too cute. I can't stand them. I hate them. Hate's a strong word, but it's true. I hate them. I saw some people on TikTok customizing their FNAF plushies. That's genius. Of course, I had to give it a try myself. TikTok persuaded me yet again. I can't possibly customize every single one of these. My collection of FNAF plushies is so large at this point that I'm gonna have to pick and choose which ones disgust me the most, which should prove difficult. <laughs> So I chose these three candidates for today's creepy cute, but mostly creepy makeover. They're looking pretty friendly, very huggable, except for Chica. She just looks cursed, especially the smile. It looks kind of fake, almost like she has braces on. Poor Chica, we've all been there. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. For those of you who cry every time I touch a FNAF plushie, you're definitely gonna be shedding some tears today, probably bawling your eyes out. I apologize in advance, but I think it's worth it. I think you'll agree that in the end, in my opinion, there's definitely been some improvements made. First on the chopping block is Captain Foxy in all his derpy buck tooth glory. No one's gonna wanna buy this one once I'm through with them, so I'm getting rid of the tag. I've been made aware that there's a black market for reselling these plushies, but I'm not taking no part in it, at least for now. <laughs> there's a lot of additions I'm gonna be making to Foxy. A lot of it's gonna be out of felt. It's pretty much all gonna be out of felt, so I'm cutting out all the little details I'll be needing. Okay, first thing I'm gonna change is his smile. I'm not a big fan of the two little teeth poking out. I do like buck teeth. I just don't feel like it fits Foxy. It's making him look too much like a walrus. I'm replacing his pearly whites with 10 million more pearly whites. These ones are sharper and more deadly. I'd say this plushie's already come a very long way, but it's still got some ways to go. I didn't want his smile to ever fade, so I bolted it in place. He's always smiling on the outside, even if he's crying on the inside. Foxy's been through some stuff. He's gotten into a couple fights. Maybe he's even got a black eye under the eye patch. Who knows, and who cares? I wanted his face to be beautiful, and you know what they say, symmetry is beautiful. <laughs> so I gave him another black eye to match. <clears throat> I wanted his eyes to have a creepy, glowing kind of look. I wasn't liking how this looks, so I do change it later on, but for now it's here to stay. Foxy's looking too put together, too streamlined. I want him to look more disheveled and out of it, so I'm adding some tufts of fur fluffing off him, make him look a little more mangy. He's a very particular shade of reddish pink. I couldn't find felt in that exact color, but I think this color kind of works too. Add some contrast to the piece. All that contrast is making him look less plasticky, doing him some good. I also wanted it to look like his pants were ripped and his feet were kind of exposed. Wanted his fur to look puffed up on the legs. I want him to look very disheveled, but it's starting to look more like he just forgot to wear pants. Captain Foxy is in the nude. Just kidding. He still has a shirt on. <laughs> I'm adding some pieces of black felt. I was trying to make him look kind of ripped and give the illusion that you can see into his animatronic body. These are supposed to be like the metal frame on the inside of his ears. He has a hook on one arm and a big ol' stump for the other arm. So to fix that, I added a thin layer of his fur and some more giant, terrifying claws. Cute, cute. He was looking a little too surprised. So to tone that down a few notches, I gave him an upper eyelid. Now he just looks blah. He's looking pretty cool. Still a little derpy, but what are you gonna do? Not enough of his insides were showing, so I sprinkled in a couple more black holes going through his body. Perfect. What a beauty. If you look closely, you might even see his rib cage, which might be facing the wrong way. I'm not sure. Too late now. There's no one doing fabric hot glue. I took out some of my fabric markers. I've been loving these things lately. They're great for doing these little tiny details, especially when working with plushies. I added some more scuffs and scratches and bruises and whatnot. No real rhyme or reason to it. I'm just letting loose. <laughs> That's what art is about. It's about free falling and just seeing what happens. I like to surprise myself. Surprise, surprise. I took a chunk out of his ear. I forgot I did that. <laughs> what a bloody mess. I love it. Like I said, I wasn't entirely happy about his eye. It just wasn't looking right to me. So I got rid of it, and I'm replacing it with some different color felt. That's better. Something was still off. He looks too shiny and too proper. That pink is popping a little too much for my liking. I smudged that down a bit with some fabric marker. I'm going for that sooty, burnt-to-a-crisp kind of look. Now that Foxy's looking like a true beauty, I'm moving on to this beast. Or as I like to call her, Brace Face. I see what they were trying to go for. I just don't think they achieved it at all. <laughs> I would say A for effort, but I can't bring myself to say it. <laughs> Look at her side profile. She looks like a derp. <laughs> Where did her chin go? <laughs> That's all I want to know. No worries. I'm going to give her a whole new look. I've cut out quite a few pieces for Chica. I'm going to try to make her look closer to her Jacko Chica roots. Her eyes are clearly a little too bright and joyful. We can't have that. Not around here. Just going to get rid of that. I then replaced the joy in her eyes with two giant red piercing peepers. Finally time to address her brace face situation. Much better. I'm filling her mouth up with some jagged teeth. I think this is kind of the look they were trying to achieve when they made this plushie. Or at least I'm giving them the benefit of the 
with that with this one. You know what's missing? Some cow spots. That's where my artistic journey was taking me, and I was just letting it take me there. There's supposed to be gaping holes in her flesh, kind of like Bonnie, going for that same kind of vibe, keeping things cohesive. I want these to all look cool together. I wanted some pieces of wire sticking out of her. Instead of grabbing actual wire, I decided to use some felt instead. That way, you know, they're still huggable. I felt like that's important for a plushie. I really want to try and get that deteriorating animatronic vibe across. Hopefully that's coming across, and it's not just looking like a half cow, half chicken freak. <laughs> I fabric hot glued on some wolverine-sized claws. If you don't want Chica to stomp you into mashed potatoes, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you. I pulled out the fabric pens. I'm giving her some dimension in the eyes, making them look alive. And then I did a lot more detailing with the pens, adding some personal touches to pull the look together. It was at this point that I realized that she's missing something extremely important. This plushie is supposed to be a representation of Jacko Chica, yet there's no jack-o'-lantern in sight. That's just disrespectful to the entire FNAF community. I'm going to attempt to fix things by stabbing together my very own pumpkin. You guys know I love needle felting. I have a whole series that I started where I needle felt anything and everything. Today I'm stabbing together a circle, keeping things simple. Needle felting is not what this video is about. I don't want to get too sidetracked. I got a rough little ball stabbed together, and then I wrapped it in some orange felt. My cute little baby pumpkin. I drew a little face on there, even tried to make it look a little creepy. I don't know what month it is, but it's starting to feel a lot like Halloween again, and I'm here for it. Back to this freak. I added some splashes of blood, as per usual, and I'm about ready to move on. Last but not least, and the cutest of them all, is my little Teddy Freddy. He's so cute, I just want to slap him. <laughs> First thing I gotta do to tone down the cuteness is tattoo his eyeballs. Now that's an improvement if I've ever seen one. I honestly could stop at this point and call it done, but I've got a few more additions in mind. I cut out lots of intricacies for my little Teddy Fresh. First off, he's going through a blinding procedure. I give it to all my patients. Nothing new. It's complimentary. On the house. Let me know if you'd like to sign up for the procedure. I'm sure I could try to free up my schedule. For now though, Teddy Fresh's eyebrows have got my full attention. They were too bushy. Not creepy enough, so I'm shaving them off. He doesn't have eyebrows anymore. Now he's just got gaping wounds. It's the running theme of the day. Another constant for today is a big, happy smile full of sharp, jagged teeth. I really wanted to go all out with Freddy. Give him a lot of little details and make him look as creepy as possible. To switch it up, I'm adding some exposed metal to his ears. I'll add it around in other places too later on. I want it to look like my Teddy Fresh is completely deteriorating. It may look like cheetah print right now, but give it time. Patience, please. I'm really switching things up with this one. His rib cage is horizontal. <laughs> I told you, there's no rhyme or reason today. We're just going with the flow. I'm adding a lot more metal exposed on Freddy. I just wanted to shake it up a little bit. Just like the others, I'm replacing the stumpy appendages with some sharp talons. Flaws of mass destruction. Teddy's definitely the one that's been through the most. I mean, they've all been through a lot, but Teddy. Here's the whole massacre from today. I love how they look. Definitely on the creepier side today, but I think it's fitting. Oh! 